This is a film that's based on my pathetic existence growing up in South Florida. Stephen has heard this spiel a million times. Never gets old. Um, so uh, I was uh, very unlucky in love growing up in uh, South Florida, an environment that is like the most unhip environment you could possibly grow up in. I mean, it's just like laden with senior citizens and egrets and lizards and... Um, so this kid is on this quest to find a prom date. He's very unsuccessful, and his parents are in the middle of getting divorced, and they're very unsuccessful on their own individual quest to find love. So these three characters' lives reflect each other's. I play uh, a character named Danny Stein, who, as Brian said, is based on himself. Um, and he's, uh, I mean... He's really just a, like a very nice guy. The only problem is he's just, he's not, he's not so hip. He's not so cool. He's not really popular. Um, and uh, in terms of love, he's really unsuccessful. And he has um, these, uh, these huge dreams of having this beautiful prom date or, you know, and maybe getting some action at his prom. And, uh, the conflict arises when his best friend, who is a girl, um, played by Alia Shawkat, um, wants to go to the prom with him as a friend, but he has other things in mind. I got to spend a good amount of time with Brian before we actually started shooting. Um, I got to get to know Brian and kind of see where where everything was coming from. And it really did all make sense, you know, once I met Brian, got to spend some time with him. And he's really not so pathetic. He's actually kind of a cool guy. Plus, I wasn't as delusional as the character. I mean, I was yeah, a dweeb, too. which is I, I say is sort of a self-deprecating nerd, like a self-actualized nerd. So, like, I, I had a healthy awareness of the fact that I was a total loser. Um, and I would maybe just use that to my advantage or make jokes about it, in a way. Um, so I had a sense of humor about it. And this character is a little more delusional. Definitely. Yeah, he has delusions of grandeur, I'd, I'd definitely say so, yeah. Having Hollywood, Florida as a location is actually one of the things I'm most proud of with this movie. <clears throat> um, we made it sort of a mandate between the cinematographer, the production designer, and myself to make sure that every frame in some capacity, the mise-en-scene, as they would say, as I learned in film school, that's all I learned in film school, mise-en-scene, um, was just packed with a South Florida quality. So that meant that it couldn't look like Los Angeles. I mean, we had to have water. The sky had to show the, 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 the rich baby blue color and puffy white clouds and we needed egrets and lizards and senior citizens as extras walking in the background and the color palette was uh, you know pastels we always made sure that people were bringing pastels um, for their wardrobe so we were I mean I was obsessive with making sure that this looked like South Florida and, and sort of would transport the audience to a different place to give it sort of a magical quality It was, the weather was kind of nice, you know, out there, but it was, there really wasn't very much to do, you know, aside from shoot this film. Um, yeah, there was no one really my age over there. and. Um, well, it was, I mean, you have to admit that it was nice being stuck in the same motel with Ashley Benson, who played the hot cheerleader in the movie. I mean, you have to give me... You said this was going to be edited, right? <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, yeah.